How's it going guys? Hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to another episode here with some Pot Lemon Omar content. We are jumping into the live streets on GG Poker. And as you can see, we have five cards in our hands. So we're gonna play five card PLO guys and then go through hopefully some interesting spots. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and also Check out the link below the episode. If you want to learn more about five card PLO, then head over to the plomastermind.com. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Bottom left, double suited aces. Nice hand, open raising, obviously. We are playing 10 cent, 25 cent. We're gonna see how the games are on these stakes. And See if we can find some interesting IDs. Pick up some tendencies from how people play. And basically go from there. Bottom left, aces with the ace of diamonds and a pair blocker. I think this is a pretty good hand to start betting. We have a very powerful blocker down the road. We turn the third knot straight. This would be a hand that I will check back. If you double barrel in a situation like this, you want to be a little bit more polar than this. We unblocked like two pairs, but our opponent didn't check raise on the flop. So uh, top left, also a nice spot. Um, I'm going to start betting, obviously. And bottom left, now we... We have a fault on the four board, four card straight board. Uh, top left, we turn a flush. Um, but I'm not sure if we want a value bet really. Like what do we get called by? On the river, my opponent checks fairly quickly. Um, we. I don't know, it feels like I'm going to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're losing, guys. The reason I check is because I block some of the two pairs my opponent can call me with. Uh, so I do expect to get a lot of faults or calls by better flushes, basically. Uh, bottom left, flop, bottom set. We are three way I think I'm gonna start with a small bet it was definitely an interesting call preflop here by my opponent if you look on the top left he has jack nine eight seven deuce double suited um I would say that's not a hand you wanna generally plays. I'm gonna even get a, give him attack. Wider preflop. Questionable plays preflop. So uh, keep that in mind. Bottom left, ace 10, 885. Double, triple suited. I'm not sure if this is going to be an open actually. So I'm gonna save this hand and we might look into that in a second actually. Using the PLO Trainer web app. Easy check on the flop with no diamond, little equity, and versus a large bet. Even though we have a straight, I think we have a pretty simple fold. So you guys did seem to enjoy the latest five card videos. So I decided to make another one. I think the game is definitely getting more and more popular. If you see how many tables are actually running at the moment. Like it's uh, it's a lot. It's now Monday afternoon. Uh, top right. We have a wrap. It could be a hand to lead really. No showdown value. 
we turn the nuts. We could go ahead and check race, which is... I don't think my opponents are going to bet or step super wide, really, if I check. So I'd rather just bet myself. And now on the four-card straight board, I'm actually going to bet half pot. Hoping to get called by the eight high straight. And he calls me down with a set of deuces. That is a very questionable play. Um, over limp. Uh, queen, queen, four, four against this player. Just gonna call. Not a good flop. We're gonna fall. So yeah, I do think that I wanna look into some preflop decisions as well later on in the session. But we're first gonna play a few hands. Bottom right, I have no idea if this is a play or not. Let's also save that one. Probably a fold. I will fold it. And top left, I also have no idea. Really. I think it's a fold. I decided to call. Uh, we're gonna check it out. We got some straddlers in the bottom right. Let's hope we have a hand. We don't. Is queen 854 on the cutoff? I think we can open raise this with a Natsu. Um. He leads, so we have an easy fold. Uh, also a nice hand top right, ace king 10, 6, 4, double. Give it a check first. We're checking down. Uh, top left, I think we could go ahead and bet. I think we can also just check it as played. Not a board where we're gonna have a lot of strong mate hands, but our overpair with the nut flush obviously is doing really well. But we block kings and jacks. I decided to check. Uh, bottom right, I will, I will go ahead and check race. Um, bottom left is close. Between a bet and a check. With two back toe flush draws, I think betting is okay. But we don't have a straight draw or a pair blocker. And bottom left, I'm now going to check back with my open ender. That's not a good river. He has aces. Look at that hand. He's got that hand. Uh, top left. Flop goes check, check, turn, check, check as well. Kind of a weird line by him. Pretending to have a boat now. Kind of weird. He does have deuces on board. <laughs> Bottom left, we bet turn. 
now we're gonna pot the river. A lot of draws are missed, for sure. I mean, maybe we should actually check there, to be honest. Top left, I will go ahead and check for calls. Three way, we also have all the hearts in our hand. Uh, bottom left, we're just gonna flat it. We look into this just to get an ID. Uh, beautiful flop. Beautiful flop. I mean, I'm gonna check it. Because we blocked so much. We also blocked the queen. Um, that's not bad. Uh, bottom right. We are going to get it in. Let's see what we're up against. Against top set again. Take it down. Take it down. Nice pot. Beautiful flop for him. What was this guy holding bottom left? Actually, we did get called by a straight. Okay, nice. Um, top right. I'm going to check versus this player. Okay, probably, no, we're losing. Okay, let's look at some pre-flop decisions, guys. I'm gonna sit out. Uh, sit out all next time. And I wanna show you how to get a better understanding of pre-flop ranges. So we're sitting out and I will now open up another software. This is the PLO Trainer 5 card, the 5 card PLO Trainer. And here we can look up pre and post flop solutions for a 5 card PLO. And I want to do that for a couple of the spots that we had in this session. So for example, we had this hand, right? We have Ace-10-8-8-5 with two hearts and three spades. And I want to see if this hand is actually going to be an open. So we are sitting in early position. So I'm going to open up the EP range. You can see, first of all, you will have all the categories. In five card PLO, we are breaking down all the hands based on similar characteristics and we put them in categories in the software so you can quickly understand patterns. So for example, unpaired double suited hands in five card PLO are open raising 25% from early position. I'm going to actually go to the range and I'm going to type in my specific hand, which is ace 10 885 and you will see that ace 10 885 is an open race if we are double suited with only two of the suit on the right side but if we have three cards of the same suit you can see that we're basically going to fold there's one open as well here which i'm not entirely sure why that is the case but apparently ace 10 Eight eight five. This combination is an open raise, and these combinations are a fold. Ah, I actually know why it is. This is the nut suit with only two spades, so that makes more sense. And this hand was actually the exact holding that I was holding. So you can see ace eight with two hearts, and then three other suits is this combination. So this hand was a fine open. You can see the EV attached to it. You're supposed to win 0.17 big blinds by open raising. And uh, then the frequency attached to it. And this hand is a 100% open raise. Okay. So the first hand was played correctly. Let's look at another one. So here we are in the small blind. And we have 10, 9, 9, 7, 4. I'm going to ignore the stack sizes for a second. So we're going to go to the small blind. And again, here you have the categories. 
and you can see how to play your entire range. We're opening up the range window. And if I type in 10, 9, and 7, 4, you will see that this hand is supposed to be a pure fold. So that's correct. Like what happens if we are 20 big blinds? Because that was actually what we were playing against. My opponent was holding a 25 big blind stack. We're going to go to the range again. Type in 10, 9, and 7, 4. And you can see versus a 20 big blind player, this hand is actually supposed to be a limp. So we are actually supposed to play this hand. And let's see, we are limping 27% of the time. So quite a bit of limping versus a very shallow stack. Let's look at the other two hands as well, guys. So this one, for example, 4-3-3, three, three, deuce, deuce, double suited. Button versus cutoff. Let's go to that solution. Uh, button versus cutoff. We are holding... 4, 3, 3, deuce, deuce. You will see that this hand is supposed to be a pure fold. What you can also do, by the way, besides looking at like an individual hand, which is generally not that advisable, you can use the categories. And for example, go to two pair double suited, which is the category which we were looking at basically. Open that up and you can see that double paired, double suited aces are always a three bet. If you have a Broadway hand, we are generally going to call. But with all the mid-low cards, we are mostly folding. So you can open this up, filter for it, and you will see all the hands in this category, basically. And you can see on the left side that if you have deuces or low pairs, basically, you're generally supposed to fold all these combinations. In the middle, the calls are coming from strongly connected ones and a few three bets if you have an ace, basically. Last hand in question, king, king, queen, jack, five, double suited again. We face an MP open raise and we are sitting on the button. So let's see what we are supposed to do. I would say calling is the play because we don't have an ace blocker. Uh, king, king, queen, jack, five, double suited. That would be in the one pair double suited category. And you can see aces are three betting always, but if you don't have an ace, but have a Broadway pair, you can see that there are basically no three betting at all. There is a little bit of three betting if you have an ace. But if you don't, which is this category, pure without an ace, if I would filter for that, you will see that we're basically never three betting. And I was holding king, king, queen, jack, deuce. You will see that this hand is a pure call. Okay, pretty interesting. So I want to show you basically how you can quickly check up on your preflop game and how you can also improve on it. You can filter for specific hands. You can use the categories. You can also train yourself in the software if you want to do that. So um, a lot of ways to basically work on your preflop game. In this software, there are also different solutions available. Uh, you can see them on the left. We have six max as well as heads up solutions in our software. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Head over to plomastermind.com. Okay, guys, that's also gonna be it for this session. Hope you enjoyed a quick one, uh, jumping into a few hands and also analyzing it with the software. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, head over to Instagram slash LukeBotter86. If you wanna follow my life more, you can see updates in there. That being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Over and out, catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.